your favors for all you, all you do. We are so appreciative and you're the best Algebra 3 teacher I ever had. One teacher that I am extremely grateful for is Mrs. Andrews. She will stop whatever she's doing to help you, no matter what. I was nervous about going into AP English, but with her help, it was smooth sailing, but also a lot of hard work. I was able to be creative with every assignment that we had. Mrs. Andrews has a kind heart and soul. When you walk into her classroom, you can be whoever you want to be. Thank you, Ms. Andrews, for all that you do. Hi, my name is Logan Haynes, and this is my gratitude project. Um, one person that I would say that I'm very, very grateful for is Kelsey Bard, other known as Miss Bard or everybody's big sister. Um, and one uh, personality trait that I would say that is just above all others is the pacing patience that she has with her students and the patience that she has with people like me that she's close with um and even considering this project i'm turning it in three days late whenever i told him i was turning it in the other morning um, that's a huge example of why she's so just patient with everybody um i don't know where i would be without miss bard and miss brace especially um and I'm very grateful for both of them, and I'm very grateful for what you guys have done for me in the short time that I've known you guys. And I really, really appreciate everything. Um, even just the small talks that we have in the office and things like that. Um, so yeah. My name is Ethan Shires, and my gratitude project is going to be over Ms. Brace, my uh, career development uh, instructor. Um, Ms. Ms. Brace has helped me through a lot of stuff um, and taught me so much about career development and just um, jobs and interviews in general. But one of the inspiring things about her that I've tried to model is her people skills and how professional she is in human relations. Um, anytime she's dealing with a student or another coworker, um, no matter how much they irritate her or whatever, she remains professional in dealing with that person, even if that person is not being professional themselves. And she has kind of like taught me indirectly um, how to, when I'm dealing with people at my job, how to maintain composure with angry customers and not just rip their head off pretty much. And with that and among so many other things, Ms. Grace, Ms. Brace has helped me with, um, I just want to thank you for that, so thank you. A teacher that I'm really grateful for is Coach Henderson because he's so easy to talk to and he's there for you always, whether it's personal problems or school related problems. And he cares deeply about all of his students. And he's always there to go above and beyond for all of your needs, whether it's anything related to college and careers or your ACT. And I'm so glad that we have him on our staff at Claremore. My teacher that I'm thankful for is Ms. Huddleston. I um, had your Photoshop class, I think my sophomore year, so like two years ago. And I just remember that class because it was the highlight of my day. Um, just your like positive attitude really made it a good experience. Um, especially since I didn't really have any friends in that class. And I learned a lot and it was just really fun. And I was in track at the time too. And you always would like find a way for me to still be able to like do my projects even when I had to miss for track meets. And so that was really awesome. Thank you, Miss Huddleston. I chose to do my gratitude project over Coach Hurt, the head coach for the varsity football team and sophomore class principal at Claremore High School. Um, I chose Coach Hurt because I think that he really kind of displays uh, consistency on a level that there just aren't a lot of people that do it. He shows up to work, to school or football, always ready to do his job, excited to do his job, positive mindset, and he's always pushing others to be the same and to do their best and to do their job. And... I think what's really admirable about that is uh, just his consistency in that. He does it day in, day out, no matter um, 
if he's sick, tired, it's just not a good day. Uh, you can never tell because he is always the same man. I think that's something that a lot of people should and do look up to. Hi, my name is Elise Tilly and I chose Miss Lopez as a teacher that I'm grateful for because she's very caring and compassionate about others in her job. I appreciate her because every single day she always made sure that I knew the Spanish material that we learned. Anytime I see her in the hallways, she always says hi to me and asks me how my day is going. Anytime I need someone to talk to or just advice, she's always there for me. She is always so positive and she is all around a great teacher. Thank you, Ms. Lopez, my 10th grade Spanish teacher. Hi, my name is Paola Tinoco. I'm a high school peer tutor. I want to thank Ms. Lucas at Claremore High School for showing me respect for others. When I started in class, I was very disrespectful, got detentions and everything. As the year passed, we got more along and she helped me with my work and I really appreciate, appreciate that she taught what she taught to me because it's way it's really important it's a very important skill to have when interviewing for a job and in my personal life as well in communication with other people so coming in to freshman year um i've been in band all four years since then but that was actually mr mudd's first year so it was really nice having that band director there who was actually there all the time because in junior high I didn't have that my band directors switch every single year so it's been nice to have them there the entire time and something that I've just really learned from Mr. Mudd and I really appreciate is the life skills that I learned from him since it's not only just music it's also life skills I've learned a lot about like how I should be choosing my classes and college ideas that I should be using for the future. He tells us stories that I can grow from and it's just really nice getting to know Mr. Mudd and how I'm so thankful for him. Hi, I'm Aureli and I wanted to say thank you to Ms. Queering. Ms. Queering is my current English 3 teacher and one thing that I learned in her class was that I should believe in myself and that with a little hard work and studying that I could pass any class I wanted to. So thank you, Miss Queering, for believing in me. Thank you, Mr. Russell. You were my geometry teacher at Claremore High School when I was a sophomore. You helped me a lot because I had trouble with geometry. I was more an algebra person and I had a really time a hard time understanding the geometry side of everything and you really took the time to sit down and explain things further to me and I really appreciate it and it made me prosper and I just want to thank you and know that I appreciate you very much. This is for my um, gratitude project and it's out to Coach Cheryl. Um, I played for Coach Cheryl for four years, about four years, and he always had this way of being motivational, just very motivational, even if someone was down or we were doing workouts or everyone was just dying. He had this way of really speaking on how to like bring us up basically. And I just wanted to say thank you to him for all those words of kindness and also the motivational pushing he had to do for most of us. But it really changed the way I think about things and it changed how I play the game of baseball. And I just give all my thanks to him. So thank you, Coach Cheryl. I wanted to say thank you to Miss Steadley up at the high school. Uh, back in my freshman year, she taught me in principles of engineering and she taught me how to work hard and solve problems. And I used a lot of the math in my trig and uh, calculus classes even today. And also through Skills USA, she taught me how to work with the team and study hard for things that I wanted to compete in. She also helped me develop my resume and online portfolio, which will really help me outside of high school and just prepare for college in general. Thank you to Ms. Warden, my teacher and coach at Claremore High School. From the beginning of high school, she has been there for me, giving me advice on classes in life. She has reinforced the importance of showing up on time, prepared and ready to learn, whether it's at practice or in school. She has helped me grow my leadership skills and I have become a well-rounded individual because of her. It is teachers like her who make me be want to become a teacher myself. I am so thankful to have been taught by Miss Warden. 
I would like to show my gratitude for Miss Williams, the art teacher at Claremore High School, for exemplifying consistency and showing our class what the epitome of work ethic is. She has this drive that I've never seen in a teacher before, and I've sat through many of her classes, and they're never boring, but they're always really consistent in the way that she gives instructions, um, and it makes it really easy to understand.